new fag and I know it has been an extremely long time since I've made a video but today I'm on a new server called Eradication X and if you actually are familiar with my Hellware videos it is owned by Zeus and also Era the other owner it is a high revision server but we all know that I love high revision servers I started on Domex but this is like high revision and there are customs but they're all like really high tier customs it's not like all like Domex where every single item is a custom and if you have any normal items then you're kind of just a useless prick. Um, I did love Hellware. Hellware was a really well put together server and I did end up maxing on that server and I did get uh, 120 rune crafting. But this server as you can see right here I'm just training some uh, some prayer because I tried to record the video before but I just messed up too many times. There is a squeal of fortune and one of the common rewards is over a hundred dragon bones so you know I just decided why not um, but I did do a little I like hit a rock crab like four times and got 39 strength so I just want to let you guys know that um, it is like high XP rates so if that's something that like um, you look forward to in a server because I know if you have like really slow XP rates and you don't want to play I know you know I know how that feels but, yeah, I'm just going to take you guys through the server real quick, and uh, you guys can decide on if you want to join. Alright, so first things first, we are at home here. You can switch your prayers and spell books with this big man right here. Um, end of the world, that guy, you toggle warnings for like entering wilderness. You got your thieving over here, and I just got 31 from stealing from... Jesus Christ. And then you got your news herald, where you can view news on the forums. Lock chest, I assume that is the crystal chest uh, thing. You can enter raffles over here. You got your anvil and smithing stuff over there. An extra banker, just in case you don't want to go to these banks right here. You can do some summoning over here. PKing teleports right here. Your slayer master is right here. Your completionist cape is sitting right here. And then you can, uh, something very cool about this server is you can lend a rank like say you're eradicator you can lend it to your friend for like a few hours and then they can use your rank like look at this for one bill Andy lent or Andy is being lent eradicator by somebody else that is absolutely sick like I've never seen this done before that's so cool and you can retrieve a rank, but obviously that's how you get the rank, and I do not have anything to retrieve because I have no friends. Uh, this is construction supplies, and uh, then you work at the workbench, and you just make your stuff here instead of having to go to a, um, an actual house, which is really cool. You got your cooking stuff here. You got Max over here. Well, it's actually a cosmetics manager, so just like in... Um, Hell where you have all of your different um, cosmetics, except it's in like a really nice uh, interface this time. So if you kill Zamorak 50 times, then you can wear the Krill outfit and so on. That's actually really cool. Get away from me, noob. He doesn't talk to anyone that doesn't have 5 billion experience. Fuck you, Sindrith. You are a prick. And then your cell shop over here to sell items like the silk that we just stole, which I just got 40k for. Dude, that's bank. And I'll go over here and I'll show you guys what else is going on. Okay, so they got everything set up real nice over there. And then every sh every shop that you could ever think of is over here. You got stuff for every single different um, skill, basically. You got your skill cape shop right here. Invasion tokens, which I have absolutely no idea how you get. But you can get death touch darts, which is pretty sick. 100 mil ticket trader, which is like if you have like two bill, you can just buy them off this guy. Boss pet keeper. Um, you buy the pet with 2,000 kills. 200 mil capes. Oh, all right. So you do have to have 200 mil to get the mastery capes. Skills do go up to 400 mil though, so you can reach um, 10 billion experience. And you do get a sick cape called the 10 bill XP cape, and you have a uh, big drop rate boost with it. Vote token shop. You got primal, uh, random items, and 400 invasion tokens. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I did not mean to go into that again. Farming manager, 
farming supplies, teleports and seeds. My little brother is yelling. I'm so sorry if you heard that. So this is um, the loyalty shop. Obviously, you get loyalty points from just staying logged in. Borrow shop. Okay, you can buy the bolt racks, dwarven rock cake, and a slayer staff. Armor shop, just for your typical goodies. Rain shop is obviously what you think it is. Potion shop, buy your potions. Weapons shop, for all of your typical weapon goodies. Recolored shop, if you want to buy uh, your Dagon High or White Blue and all that. Different ancient staffs and staff of lights. Pekang shop, for all your Zerker gear for some reason. Um, general shop, just, you know, general goods. Magic shop, magic stuff. You can buy crates so you don't have to buy every single rune because that's fucking annoying. Your pure shop for them one deaf nerds. Tr trivia shop, obviously, when you answer trivia questions, then you do get um, points and you can spend them here. You can get a huge XP lamp and then just a bunch of different stuff. You can get master trivia title so everyone knows that you're a nerd. It's actually pretty sick. Radicated seals and character. I'd like to access my character settings. Let's see what this is about. Oh, you can just edit your... Uh, your look. And that herb lore shop, summoning shop, smithing shop, and yeah, all the different skill shops around here. Now one big thing that I don't want to uh, forget about is this tab right here. As you can see right here, double XP is active. You can just check that whenever you log in. But it is a good time to join because you will get double XP. Obviously you have your teleports here, different donator teleports, boss teleports, and locations like that. But in the boss teleports, if you click on Bondos, you can actually see everything it drops. And if you click on it, it will tell you the drop rate. So the drop rate is a 14% chance to get it, which is actually pretty high, which is pretty sick. The Bando's pet is 0.3%. And obviously the Slayer Helm is like really like rare here. So you get different keys and uh, you get a Slayer Helm if you don't put them together. But... Fatal Resort, obviously, is a really good boss, and yeah, you get the Rapiers, which uh, are 1.3%, and they cost upwards of 2 bill. That is sick. And there's also a boss called Something, which drops Virtus 1 and Virtus Book, which is actually really cool, too. Other than the boss teleports, though, I mean, if you go to boss, you can also instance it, which I do believe costs you money. But there's also quests for the Elite, which I mean, I think is over... Uh, 5 billion XP, which you gotta talk to Sindrith the dickhead over there for. Commands, it'll tell you every single command in the game, besides staff commands, and uh, it will also show you every command for the different ranks. Iron Man zone, for some reason, they have a zone, pretty sick. You can also give up, <laughs> which is a pretty funny way of putting it. Uh, you can change your yell title, display name, and all that over there. Your kill count titles for different bosses that you kill which is pretty cool you can apply all those master slayer is like the final boss in uh, rs3 it means you've killed 100 kills in all bosses except the donator bosses which is really cool and uh you got your forums open right here and your home teleport right here now along with all that on the inventory you have your boss kill counts to check on your uh your kill counts, see if you're close to your title. And then your currency pouch right here, which you can hold 100 mil tickets, invasion tokens, vote tickets, and eradicated seals. You have your achievement log right here to get that comp cape like Andy right here. And if you want to access your currency pouch fast, you just click up here. So that's pretty good inventory setup. And, uh, you know, obviously Squeal of Fortune is in there as well, which we, we know I love. And 99 prayer. I didn't even get a yell for that. What kind of bullshit? I just saw somebody. Look at that. You got a yell for 99 cooking. Why didn't I get a yell for 99 prayer? That's bullshit. But let's go buy our cape from Tassali real quick. Right over here. Trade her. Get our fat cape. Hopefully it costs 99k and not like 30 trill. Hello. Why can I not see the price? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, it's 99k. And it didn't let me buy it. Do you want to fight? Prayer cape. Purchase. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> 99 prayer. Let's get it. This guy's sitting over there. Bowling. Let's do the emote. Oh, you got all the different emotes here. 
That's pretty cool. Boom. 99 prayer. It's absolutely sick. But that was just a quick rundown of the server, guys. Um, there is a lot of competitive skilling going on right now. Everybody's trying to reach 10 billion XP to be the first one. So if you guys would like to join the competition, make sure to click the link in the description and join. I will see you guys whenever I do because I will be on the server. And I do hope to see you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys are glad to see me again. I will be back and uh, peace out.